Today, in chemical engineering, we'll be looking at unsteady state material balances. So the problem we'll be looking at is example two. We're going to look at a batch reactor where A goes to B with a reaction rate of K times the concentration of A. It's charged with an initial concentration called CA0 at time is equal to zero. And we want to find in general how the concentration of A changes with time. So I've drawn up this batch reactor. It has a concentration of CA of T, so at any time you can find the concentration. It has a volume of V. Uh, since this is a bat batch reactor, there's no flow and it's a closed system. Uh, a is going to be, as said before, and that reaction rate R is equal to K times CA. It's charged with the initial concentration at time equals zero of CA zero. So we're going to do a mole balance on A. And the reason we can do a mole balance is since it's 1A goes to 1B, the mole, amount of moles is conserved. So if you look, we have accumulation because we know that uh, A is actually going to be disappearing over time. Uh, there's no A in, there's no A out because of the closed system. There's no A that's generated, but A is consumed. So accumulation is equal to negative consumption in this case. So the accumulation of moles is going to be CA times V, which is uh, moles per liter times the volume uh, in liters, or whatever unit of um, volume you want, per time. So that's the derivative. And then so that's going to be equal to the rate of consumption, which is uh, K times CA, CA times V. Uh, since V is constant, we're going to assume that the density from A to B is the same. And that would mean that the volume is constant. And that means we can move this V outside and cancel it. So the derivative of the concentration of A with respect of time is equal to negative K times CA. We then separate the CAs from the Ts uh, and then integrate. So we can integrate from the initial condition, which is CA0 at time equals 0, to uh, any CA we want at time any time we want. And when you do this integration, you can get ln of CA over CA0 is equal to negative KT. Uh, solving for CA, we get that CA is equal to CA0 e to negative KT. So as CA goes as, as time goes to infinity, CA is going to go to zero and it has this exponential type of uh, decay look. That's it. So please visit my website at chemicalengineeringhq.com for more lectures, problems, and solutions. See the description down below for links to this problem and the solution. And leave me a comment to let me know what you think about this video. Thanks.